This is the forest that I use to obscure the opening in the backdrop that you see behind there. I move the camera a bit, you can see it. You can even see it from here. So the trees on the outside have really dense green branches and on the inside they don't so you get the idea that you are standing sort of in the forest looking out we'll go into detail of the trees later but this episode i'd like to focus on the forest floor that i made so you can see here there's some grass work there's some moss there's some dead branches there's some dead branches covered with a little bit of moss a bit more here as well there's some shrubs, some leaf material, there's some static grass, there are some tufts of grass. So we're going to see in this episode how I made that. So uh, let's get to the workbench and uh, enjoy. Well, there we are, that looks good enough to me. So there's the hill again, you can see it. Um, after shaping it with a knife and with uh, sandpaper and uh, things, I've uh, sprinkled it in with sand. It's just ordinary sand that I've uh, found along the roadside. So after covering it with sand, I've painted it. And the go-to color for me for things like this is uh, raw umber. Um, I buy it in these big jars. But this is my favorite color for things like this because it's uh, quite a natural brownish color. It's not only dark brown, I think. It also has some greens in it, I suppose. It's a uh, it's very sort of natural looking color for uh, soils like this. Anyway, I've painted it and then I've placed my trees on it because I want to see, uh, well, what looks good and how much trees I need and how much trees I have to make. So there's 15 trees on this now and uh, most of them are not complete so I have to finish them still. So here's my forest again. I've taken it out of the layout which is a great benefit because I can build it up like it was a, a small diorama. And uh, well it gives me the opportunity to work in really fine detail, which I like. Uh, you can see here that this tree has lots of uh, branches on the outside. The other trees will get that as well. So this will be a sort of forest edge. So the first thing I'll do is uh, try to make a sort of uh, grassy edge here. Um, with some different sizes of grass, maybe some uh, moss in it, uh, maybe a few bushes. So, uh, but I'll start with uh, removing the trees and um, marking the spots with uh, cocktail skewers. Now let's see, for the gluing I use uh, matte medium, so let's smear some glue on the edge, 
You see my uh, brush is still wet and it has some uh, paint in it from yesterday. Oops. This matte medium is really quite thin uh, actually. Sometimes you want it a little bit stiffer. But it'll work. So there we are. That is the forest edge where the grass will grow. I'll start with a uh, layer of um, short grass, 1.5 millimeter, I think. So I filled up the uh, static grass applicator. So there we go. Let's push in the wire. You see a green U pairing. I'm not interested in color. I can always airbrush a little bit. So there we are, that's the start of the forest edge. Now I have some longer tufts that I will just stick in. These tufts that I've made, I can cut them off so that they're all equally long, let's say. Um, and then I can push them in the glue better because they all will touch the glue uh, in a in a comparable way and also on the other end of course they're not all uh, equally long now uh, so that gives it a little bit more uh, variety and height so then let's make some small bushes for this I'm using a uh, sort of uh, filter wool for pond filters. I'm just taking out little tufts of it and uh, just, you know, pull it out, make a little sort of bushy shape of it. So those fiber bushes, they look like this. I uh, purposely chose a white background to show this to you. I don't know if it shows on camera, but the color is sort of brownish with a greenish hue, which is uh, what I was after. Now here's some matte medium. So I just take a brush and apply some matte medium over the bush now the excess glue will just dry away you won't see it and now I'll just sprinkle a little bit of leaves over it and now I have bush so the next step is to uh, attach it to the uh, diorama, which we will do. Oh. There we are. So 
So I'm taking some matte medium. Take the little bush and just place it where I want it. There you go. Here's the diorama from the other side. You can see that this is the side that is normally uh, turned towards the, the trains. Um, here the trees are green. You can see that uh, they are filled with branches that are filled with needles. So uh, they're quite sort of uh, closed from this side. This really is sort of a forest edge. And on the other side you can see, uh, well, sort of bald trunks that uh, have only dead branches on them. And that is the way you can see pine forests from the inside often. Now every cocktail skewer will become a tree of course. They have to grow a bit still. And you can also see that, uh, well, it's quite nice to have a diorama this size. You can move it around, you can work on it from all sides, which is uh, quite convenient. Now then a few things to show you. You, you can see here that uh, I've made some, uh, some bushes. As you can see here, these are the bushes that are covered with leaves. This is one that is covered in fine turf. This is one that is covered in coarse turf. Also, I've spray painted the, uh, the grass to give it a little bit more of a darker uh, look. And I've spray painted the, uh, the tufts in a sort of dead grass sort of uh, color. And if you look how this goes under the trees, then I think it is uh, quite well actually. So. Now and then I've made the uh, forest soil. So I make this from dry leaves. Um, I just pick them up from the park, uh, dry them above the radiator. And then if they're dried, I grind them with a uh, coffee grinder until they get very fine. Now I sift them. So I have a sift uh, where I uh, shake them through. So this is the fine bit that goes through the sift. And uh, this is the little bit more rougher stuff that lands on the sift, which is also very usable if you want to have some, uh, some rougher stuff somewhere. So first I paint the base with matte medium. Then I sprinkle on the leaves. And then finally I uh, spray it in with the scenic cement, but you could also do it with a pipette and uh, diluted matte medium and then uh, let it dry now then i have some uh, some moss here you see it's just fine turf sprinkled in some glue and then when it's dry i uh, stip it on with some uh, light green with a small brush so that it gets this uh, really sort of effect of uh, dark green and light green and this works really nice, I think. And also I do that with the, uh, well, there's some dead uh, material there. See, that's a dead tree trunk that I've also covered with moss. So in this way, I try to make the forest floor as interesting as I can. And also the edge of the forest floor, I try to sort of, uh, well, fill it with some uh, bushes, some uh, tufts of dead grass and uh, things. So all in all, that's my uh, forest edge and I'm uh, not that unhappy with it. So uh, yeah, that's what I wanted to show this time. Thanks for watching and uh, see you again next time.